Hi guys, how you doing? Hey, just wanted to do a review of these awesome navigation lights that I've got. Um, what they are is they are GT Power RC uh, simulated LED lights for helicopters or airplanes. Um, they've got the control board. There's uh, two strobes, uh, red beacon strobes. Um, on my T28, I got the one right there on the top, and then the one right there on the bottom. It has um, the two white strobes, which are on each wing tip. Um, the white strobe, and then there's the green constant navigation light. And the red constant navigation light on the wing tips. And then underneath, there are two uh, landing lights, which um, I put these in a scale location on a real T28. This thing's almost done. Um, oops, almost dropped my other plane. This thing's almost done. I just got to finish painting the uh, red around the canopy. And clear coat in that, and then this thing will be pretty much done. Um, in the yellow on the wing tip or on the prop tips, yet I gotta finish that, but other than that, I'm fairly well done with it. But, um, no, I wanted to do a review of these lights because what I'm doing is, um, second, unfortunately, this is like one of my favorite planes, I crashed it a while back. This is my Park Zone T28. Um, being a dummy, flying where I shouldn't have been flying. I was flying at my work and flying in an area I wasn't used to flying. And I come in on a landing approach, thought I was clear of the trees, and whammo, right in the trees. So had all kinds of damage, um, all kinds of repair I've had to do up here. Unfortunately, um, Horizon Hobby doesn't sell the firewall. You got to buy a whole fuselage, and I don't. You can't get the decals anymore. So I just cobble it together as good as I can. It's got a lot of epoxy and stuff. But anyway, I figured, okay, well, that's a perfect time to put in a light kit in this bird too. So that's what you got um, when you get the. Uh, the uh, light kit. Let me open this up here real quick. Um, and the thing is, it's perfect size because the wings, um, there's perfect length. I mean, no problem. There's just enough in there. Here's your control board, and it just plugs into your uh, uh, receiver. And then it comes with a bag of sticky tape, double-sided sticky tape. And then there's these little black rings that go around the LED bulbs and then, you know, go into the fuselage or wing or whatever if you choose to use them. I didn't use them on my wing tips. Um, I just glued the uh, bulbs directly into the wing tips. But, um, you know, not a big deal. Um, then you get all your, your wire. You know, it's all coiled together right now, so I can't do anything with it. But, um, you know, with one hand. And then it's got your basic instructions. And, you know, tell you, tells you the basic placement of the lights for, like, an airplane. Um, you know, your red beacons usually on the tail. There's usually a red beacon, you know, either on the front, lower, under the fuselage, something. I mean, it just depends on the aircrafts. A lot of aircraft have them on the fuselage, um, you know, like the T-28. Um, and then it's got your, uh, so I'm going to focus in here, your nav lights, uh, the red, the white strobe. And it shows you like a top picture, you know, your white strobe, your green nav light, 
you see landing lights, etc. And then it's also got the same, in case you want to put these on a helicopter, um, it's got the same kind of a setup. And then it shows you where each one of the wires is um, numbered. Um, like here, get the thing out of the way. Um, it says white one. Okay, so white one will go. Let me see here. Um, put my glasses on so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, white one will go right here on the bottom. It says white one. And then, like your other ones, the red flashing slowly, those are the fuselage lights. Um, they'll go in the middle. Then your um, landing lights, um, always bright light, uh, white. And then your green and your red wingtip lights go on the top part of it that comes out with the, uh, the servo lead, or the, yeah, the servo plug um, to your receiver. So anyway, here's the specifications on it. Um, like I said, they're very easy to use. I have flown with these a lot on my T-28s and stuff like that and other aircraft. And I have not ever had a problem whatsoever with all of these uh, lights. GT Power, they really do a good job. Um and I've noticed absolutely nothing different in the battery voltage. Um, I'm still getting the normal flight times and the normal battery drop that I'd have before. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll try to uh, do a little more step-by-step -step on this one because what I'm going to start off on is up here on the fuselage. Um, I'll put a hole right here. And then straight down from it, like a real T-28, there'll be another one up underneath because the two nav lights are up and down from each other. Um, and then I'll have that done on the fuselage. And then it'll all go into doing the wing, um, which the control board will get mounted basically right there. And then all the uh, lights, I will... Uh, run them down through along the wing spar under the tape and then out I'll cut, I'll cut a little V channel and run them out to the wing tips glue them in and uh, then you know put tape and paint and stuff back over um, the bottom of them again so um, yeah it ought to be uh, Pretty neat when I get everything done here. I want to definitely get this bird back in the air because um, it's got the uh, gyro uh, flight system in it. And that's, you know, they're again like the Air Force paint schemes. I guess that's kind of obvious when I just did this one as a Vietnam era uh, U.S. Air Force. But like I said, I still got to paint the, around the canopy. But um, anyhow, um, yeah, I'll. Uh, get off of here and I will uh, get you guys some uh, progress uh, videos as I go because I want to get the rest of this thing repaired and get the lights on it and hopefully get it flying next week. So thanks guys. Hope you're all doing good. Thanks. Bye.